What's happening everybody? So it's that time we're about to bust this truck apart and stick this Super Richie Truck Plus best wrong cam in this LQ4. Um, so here's some parts. I wound up getting some different springs. These are uh, from Michigan Motorsports. They are 600 lift uh, Beehive springs instead of those 660 lift. Um, ARP bolts. Got that just in case. The uh, cam retaining plate, just in case I needed it. Valve springs. Um, and I have two different style valve spring tools here. We're gonna see which one works best, the Lingenfelter or the Dual. Um, also, wanted to show you these. So I made these um, to hold the lifters in place. Um, that is simply some 5 16 stainless rod that I bought at Ace Hardware. I measured them out. I believe it's 20 and a half inches and um, put a 90 degree bend of three inches. I'll give you a full measurement on them later on in the in the video i'll put it in the description um, but one of the things we're not going to shoot a step-by-step -step video on this mainly because there's ten thousand of them out there on this episode of nine line garage we have bullshits and cheeseburger and we're tearing apart a truck cheeseburger <laughs> we've got it flow we've got the water Chrome sockets on impact, so I think we're all Yeah, it got a lot easier. All right, so you see the hole right here, the hole gallery? Okay. Straight to the back. Folks, so we actually ran into an issue with the 5 16th stainless rod fitting on the passenger side. 
um, all of the lifters were up, but the rod was too big. So we actually had to go find a smaller diameter rod you can see here that we now have stuck in there, holding all the lifters up. Um, this is a 250,000 mile engine, so maybe it didn't lock all the way into place or, or whatever, but we're gonna go ahead and yank this cam. But if you ever run into that issue, just uh, try to find a smaller diameter uh, rod stick in those oil galleries. They're going to be bad. All right, guys, time to put in a new bump stick. Make this bad boy go thump, thump, thump. There she is, boys. Richard Holdner, Truck Plus, best rolling cam, stabbed in a 250,000 mile six liter LQ4. Yeah, that it was up. It just, just like you very, said, the, it was very bottom of that it. keeper was just weak enough that it was hanging down. Like I said, a thumbnail. Really? Looking through there, it and the like, rod was too big to get underneath. Yeah, looking down there, it looked like a thumbnail moon. Yeah. You can see just the bottom shiny part of the right. lifter, and it's just enough that that fat rod wouldn't fit. That's what she said. I want to use one of these fancy things. What, are they, are what does it do? What, is it, what does it do? What? It vibrates. It vibrates. Whoa. Look at me. Oh, that doesn't feel tight. Uh -huh. 11 foot pounds ain't much. I need to first so I can get this top on that mile. Yeah, rip this pin. Yep. Pull that off. Uh, just, make, just making sure that, that seal that Sealed. piston there is, a, is good. Oh, <laughs> bolt. <laughs> Double checking your work. Lock tight. Ooh. You only got one more, it's my turn. Oh, <laughs> ain't there yet. No, turn it. There it is. Oh. Woo! <laughs> the highest I've ever torqued something. You know the. the... Oh man, Mister. You gonna learn today. Where are the valve cover bolts? In the old valve covers. Where are the old valve covers? 
So here we are, we're buttoning up everything. This truck, this cam swap, we're really close to being done here. And then uh, we're gonna do some uh, exhaust first fire up video. Let you see the difference between the uh, stock cam and this uh, best wrong cam. So we'll see you here soon. Hard time.